Welcome back everybody, back out here on the KLX 300. Out here with Tyler on his KX 250. A little drier than the weekend, but in a good way. It's a little bit too wet. Uh, a little bit too wet this weekend. It was just a bit slick. I don't really mind the wet, but it had like just rained. This little loop is a lot better today. Is uh, this weekend? This section right here was uh, really slick. With all these roots and stuff when it gets wet. Woohoo! Yes, sir. She's getting it today, boys. There's a big root since I've been going to the right before that jump because of those puddles. Been running into a big root. I don't know, hopefully this little area that we go to a lot doesn't get too repetitive. I mean, it's still so much fun for me. There's more land out here, so I think the next move is to uh, one day come out here and just like take a day and blaze some more trails. You know, cut down some uh, some small trees, and like make another little loop like this because this is so much fun but it's only like I don't know a quarter mile something it's not big even though it's only a very small part of uh, this land yeah we can go check it out it's, it's better today what? like that little section the other day was kind of bad yeah. all right let's do it So we came out here this weekend and I brought this with me and I only I only hopped out on it like maybe twice. I don't even think I got any GoPro video on it. So the other video is probably just all the YZ, but this is a whole different day. And it's dried up a little bit more here, so it's real nice. I think soon we should come out here one day, put a couple hours and just like make a whole new loop, maybe even two new loops. Because there's a lot of room for it. I mean it's not like huge out here, but there's a lot of woods that we're not using. That would be cool to make like another loop in. You know, vast trails and everything like that, that's fun. But uh, I really like just kind of practicing on that fast loop stuff, even if it's through the woods. It's kind of like a little mini track through the woods, but like no jumps or anything, just ruts and turns. But it's still good practice. You can kind of get cooking through it. don't really want to be hitting too many jumps on the KLX anyways. Whoa! I am glad it dried up a little bit though because the last like two weeks at least it's been a lot of rain. A whole lot of rain here. Weather's been real weird but uh, it's nice now. So I think we're going to go a little bit further out cross over the bridge here and uh, see see what the other side's like the uh this past weekend the other side was beat i mean the river was flooded it wasn't good and i bet it's still not too good but go check it out or hit the one one trail on the side of the river that's uh not bad see this stuff was all a lot worse yesterday and honestly i find with like the klx Sometimes when it's like sandier, or if it's like really, really thick mud. I mean, it does pretty good in mud. Oh shit, leg got caught in a vine. It does good on pretty thick mud for the most part, but sand for sure. Sometimes like all of its power gets ate up if the wheel's not getting traction. Where are we going? Huh? I'm sure you could. If we put a little lip for sure. There's another bigger creek thing we were gonna try to make a little jump over. We still need to do. We still need to do that. Throw a fat roost. Whoa! A little wheelie over the bridge. As much as I love that YZ250, I cannot get wheelies on that thing. As good as I can with a four-stroke, I will say that it's tough. Yes, sir. 
Pittsburgh to go check out the spot that was flooded. It's definitely not as bad, but let's do it. Yeah, so this whole spot was underwater like literally yesterday. I mean, it doesn't feel like yesterday for some reason, but it was yesterday. It looks a lot better now. Stuff will dry out quick. Yeah, it's, it looks dried up today. Oh yeah, you can see like a big old swamp pond over there. There's a whole ass pond over there, bro. I was just saying that. I've never seen that before. So yeah, I mean, I've had these Tusk uh, Dual Sport tires on for probably a over a month now. I don't even know, maybe a month and a half too. I mean, I really like them. I don't know, let me know if y'all want a review, but uh, I really like the D60, what was it, 605s? Yeah, I think it was the D605s that came stock on the bike. I always said I didn't have a problem with those. I, I really like them. And these are, I haven't really noticed too much difference. Maybe a little better, maybe the same, I don't know. But I like them. Oh, what do we got here? Even it, whew. but they're definitely not worse, I don't think. And that being said, they're like, uh, I think they're like 110 bucks for like a set of them, so cheaper than most tires. Good deal on them. Damn, he was throwing mud. All right, oh, this is where it gets a little hairy. Is it? Holy shit. Well, he just ripped through it. Yeah, this spot, you never know at this spot. Oh shit, I don't know about that. Oh yeah, they ate through that. And I'll tell you, that was some thick stuff. Woo Got a big old piece of mud on my uh, display here. I go on this trail like a lot a lot but that's just it's so close to me and it's honestly so fun I'm always looking for new stuff but no, so far nothing local has come close to what this stuff is I mean these are some good trails and never have any problems with anyone out here always uh, something a little different too so hopefully they don't get repetitive they don't for me yeah that's funny I mean just yesterday was freaking flooded and now it's like Perfect. Yeah, this is minty right here. Let's go. Oh. This is awesome. Yeah, it's easier for sure. Yeah, throw some good roost. Whoa, that's some slop. I don't know how it looks on camera, but this stuff is some sloppy stuff right here. A little swampy. Dude, this bike trucks through anything. I love this KLX, honestly. It's it's the old faithful. She will get through any trail. Take her to Hatfield McCoy. She'll freaking keep up with all the other bikes. Take her over here. Ain't nothing she can't do, just about. I mean, maybe some big hill climbs. Yeah, river's flowing today. I don't think it's anything we can't handle, though. I wonder if you could make it across on this pipe right here. That would be sketch. Oh shit, what'd he do? <laughs> 
<laughs> Automatic kickstand. She. You thought she was making it across here? No, I was trying to turn around. <laughs> Damn. Whew. Yeah, that shit gets deep right there, I can tell. If we put some rocks and stuff in there, you can make a little pathway across. <laughs> Ripper. I love these boots, man. They're like a little shorter profile than the, the regular all the way up the calf boots. I did a little video on them, but they're the Alpine Star Belize Dry Star. They're perfect. I might get on that pipe while you go across, get a good, get a good little view. I'm gonna get on this pipe, get a good little video of this. It gets real deep right here, and then these rocks are all stacked up right in this section, and that's where we cross right here, but over here, I don't know, maybe in the summer I'll check how deep it is, but it's probably about three feet deep. Who knows? Cannot see the bottom. All right, here he goes. It does look different than normal. The way the rocks are formed up right there. Light work. If you just keep your momentum, it's usually no issue. But let's get across here before we say that. This thing's dirty, boys. God for my skid plate right now. Oh boys. Oh boys. Woo <laughs> Definitely deeper than normal. Freaking freight train through that thing. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I got one foot really wet. The other one just damn. At least it's not quite as cold as the other day. Heck yeah, I'm feeling good on this thing today, man. She made light work of that little river crossing. So usually we hop off like right about up here. Whoa. But I think we're gonna check out, go a little further down this, uh, this trail here and check out how that is down there. I know I've been down it before, but I honestly can't quite remember what's over there. I know where it kind of eventually leads to, but I can't quite remember that trail. Yo! Oh yeah, this has changed so much. That's a huge chaining wall. That's right. And like my first urban exploring, we came over here and then that, there was that big truck parked over here that I got a picture by. It's all grassy over there now and they got some rocks up in here, so it's not quite as muddy. Not a whole lot different for like a year ago, but definitely different. Got a little hill climb. I think we're gonna head back the way we came or maybe take the road. We'll see Gotta go like a quarter mile on the road. Pop it up! Oh my god. Whew. Thank god for the skid plate part two. Alright, now we made it to the train tracks. Y'all have probably seen from other videos, but it was like a connector to all different to all different areas. Oh, I think I know where we are. Uh oh. I've never seen it go that way. Oh yeah, no, I haven't. Alright, turn in the GoPro off until something happens. Woohoo! Literally 30 seconds later since uh, I turned off the GoPro. 
This is that jump I was hitting a few videos ago. I kind of want to see him hitting on the on the race bike, the 250F. It is sketchy because you can't really see where you're landing, and there's a bunch of rocks over there, so it takes a few tries to get like comfortable with it. Not bad for the KLX. This right here, woohoo! I think we're taking the road back here. It's only like a little half a mile or so. All right, boys, made it to the final little stretch of road here. Only like a little two mile ride. It wasn't too bad. That was a fun little ride there. That was really fun. Super nice out today. Perfect riding weather. See if we can't get a little wheelie to end it off with. Ah, I tried to shift up to third. Woo. That was a good ass ride. Hopefully it was a good video. I'm gonna go back to the truck, chill for a bit. Be sure to uh, check out the Amazon links below for all the bars, levers, foot pegs, LED headlight, all that good stuff. Or if you're buying anything else off Amazon, get a little commission off that that helps out the channel a little bit. New gear and maintenance parts for the bike, so appreciate y'all if you use that. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, we upload and we back at it, baby. The weather's good now, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.